Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to start working on a paint program similar to uh, paint that comes on Windows where you can draw and start painting stuff out on the screen. Now, this project is directly taken from a book called uh, Beginning Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 uh, by Theron, I think that's right, Willis and Brian Newsom. Um, I just wanted to give them credit for this uh, because it's a very um, good program to learn from and it's very object oriented so you can create this whole program without even adding a single line of code to your form one uh, class it's all done by using custom user controls and other classes so just keep in mind that I didn't make this project myself but I'm going to be explaining it to you guys and teaching you guys how to do it so we'll create a new project. Uh, we'll select a Windows Forms application and we'll just call it Paint and I'll just call mine Paint YouTube because I'm pretty sure I've got another copy of a Paint program similar. So we'll go ahead and click OK and wait for that to load. So here's our Form 1 and what we want to do is we'll right click on Paint YouTube and let's add a user control. Now what a user control is, is it's pretty much a way for you to build your own user control. So you can take a um, part of a window and you can add buttons and anything you'd like to it and it's pre-made for you so you can add that to different forms. So let's say you want to have um, something that's used a lot throughout your program and you don't have to copy and paste those buttons and rename them every time. You can create a custom user control and add the stuff you need and then just put that control into it. So the name for this one is going to be Paint Canvas. So this is going to be our Paint Canvas control that we're going to be painting to. So let's go ahead and come over here and let's set the back color to white because when you're painting you want to be painting on something white. So now what we need to do is we need to add this control to our form1.vb now in order for us to do that first we're gonna have to come over here to paint YouTube right click and build it so now that it's built let's come over here to form1.vb so now we can use our paint canvas control we'll come over here to our toolbox and we'll minimize out of common controls and you can see here that we've got paint YouTube components and we've created this paint canvas um, item right here so we can go ahead and drag this on to our form1 and you can see that it's a little big and it doesn't fit inside. So what we can do is we can change the dock of this. So we'll come over here to dock and we'll click the middle button to fill the whole form. So now our whole form uh, will be filled with the paint canvas and we can re resize the form all we want and the paint canvas, canvas will still cover the whole thing. So we'll just set the text uh, form one to paint VB. So that'll just make it look a little bit better. Okay, so now that we've created our custom paint canvas control um, and our and we've added it to our form one, let's come over here to paint YouTube and let's add a, another class. So let me shrink this down some here. We'll select a class and we'll just call it graphics item. So we'll wait for graphics item to load and let's go ahead and zoom in. Okay, so we want to make this class uh, must inherit. So we'll use the public keyword, I mean we'll use public and then the keyword must inherit. So that means that basically when a developer wants to use this gra graphics item class, they cannot directly make an object of graphics item. It forces them to use a different class that inherits from graphics item. So let's say we've got graphics uh, circle, like what we're going to use later on. Um, graphics circle inherits from graphics item so we can create a graphics circle object but not a graphics item object because it cannot be used unless it is inherited by another class so now we need to add some variables that we can use in our graphics items class so we'll just do color so we'll just type public color as and we'll just do it of type color and it's an ARGB uh, color which is alpha red green and blue 
and Visual Basic has a whole bunch of colors built into it that you can use. Now we'll just do public is filled as boolean and then we'll create one more. So public rectangle as rectangle. So is filled is basically basically going to let us know later on um, if the circle is going to be filled because we're going to be drawing on our uh, form or our paint canvas with a whole bunch of circles. So we want to know if those circles are filled or if they aren't. And we can easily change is filled equal to true or false to fill in circles or not later on. And public rectangle is just going to be of type rectangle which has uh, a width and a height. Now whenever you draw circles you have to have a rectangle object. Um, so basically what it does is it takes that rectangle and then it draws a circle inside of that rectangle to where all the edges of the circle are touching um, the sides of the square now or rectangle. Now this might be a little confusing but you'll start to understand it later on. So let's go ahead and comment this. So let's just do public variables. Okay so now that we've started creating the graphics item class um, I know I have crammed a lot into this tutorial, custom user controls. We've started creating our graphics item class with the must inherit keyword. So you may want to watch this over again if you're not quite grasping everything. Um, but if you do and you're familiar with custom controls or must inherit, or if you just understand it right off the bat, then go ahead and move on to the next tutorial and we're going to continue working on this program.